Now 4.30 on WKYT This Morning, Kentucky State Police say a trooper fired shots at a car during a chase overnight in Franklin County. We're tracking a tragedy in Baltimore this morning after three people were killed near the University of Maryland's campus. We're looking outside with widespread rain again, and here comes some more storms in the forecast, not only today, but tomorrow. I do have better news, so slide towards your weekend. I'll have all that coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you and welcome in. We're waiting for that better news. We've had lots of rain around the area. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Rounds of showers working their way across Kentucky this morning. Torrential rains likely throughout the day. Once again, and that's why we have declared a first alert severe weather day. We'll keep you safe and informed. And let's go first to WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris. You know, high water issues continue to be our main concern. However, you saw yesterday, you can have an isolated storm or two pop up there that will have strong, strong winds. Along with those, as they slid through the bluegrass and off toward the eastern, northeastern zones yesterday. But there is your look, and it's continuing to slide right across the region. This is not going to stop anytime soon, so we'll have rounds of showers and some th thunderstorms again today. Looks like the severe weather threat is going to stay west of us today. Yesterday it was only a marginal threat, but you saw that stray cell or two is what we had. But there's that front. It's not moving that much. How much more rain are we going to be expecting? I have that coming up. Okay, we'll see you for the details shortly, and we thank you. And new this morning, Kentucky State Police are telling us that a trooper shot at a car during a chase overnight. State Police say they tried to make a traffic stop on Bald Knob Road around 11:30 as part of a drug investigation. The driver sped off towards the troopers, and one officer fired multiple rounds at the vehicle. State Police say the officer was defending himself. They chased the car to River Ridge Road, where the driver, 37-year-old Daniel Ryan, crashed. He was arrested after he was taken to a nearby hospital for minor injuries. His charges are pending. We're tracking a tragic story out of Baltimore this morning. It's where three people have been killed and other injured near the University of Maryland's campus there. Authorities say officers were responding to a shooting near the campus around 10.30 last night. Officers found a woman and two men with gunshot wounds. One man and the woman were taken to a hospital where they died. A second man was pronounced dead at the scene. A fourth victim walked into a hospital with a gunshot wound, and she is listed in stable condition. Well, new this morning, we're tracking an overnight crash in Lexington that sent a driver to the hospital. It happened on Lakeshore Drive before 11 last night. Lexington police say the driver crashed and flipped his station wagon. They had to cut the driver out of the car. He was taken to the hospital with minor injuries, but officers say he struck a car and pole before flipping his car into an embankment. I heard a big bang out front, and I looked outside, and there was a station wagon in my front yard, and it had hit my neighbor's car as well as the car in front of my house. And as soon as I got outside, he drove off and couldn't get a license number or anything, but got a good look at the car, though. Lexington police say alcohol may have played a role in the crash. The driver's name has not been released. Well, strong winds from a storm that moved through Lexington yesterday brought down trees all over the city. Yeah, you could really hear it going on out there. People in Masterson Station in that neighborhood call it a mess. Trees there fell across streets and driveways that kept many people busy last night. Picking up, Garrett Weimer has more. A common sound and a common sight after strong storms rolled through Lexington's northwest end. Really strong, sounded like rocks hitting the windows. Um, furniture went flying on the deck. Gutters came down, trees came down, really loud. I saw trees moving and the grill started moving. And I checked out front and the tree was on the floor and I heard, because I heard really loud snapping, so I came over to check. There was trees laying on the ground. Strong winds were responsible for bringing down several trees, just like this one all around Masterson Station. Trees falling victim on Greenway Court, Buck Lane, and Lucille Drive, just to name a few. A mess, really bad mess. Leaving neighbors to pick up the pieces. Police also stayed busy, directing traffic at an intersection where stoplights were knocked out. After the winds died down, neighbors still had their hands full from a storm that sent them for shelter even while inside their homes. Thankful to have that basement and feel safe. In Lexington, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. 
And no damage was reported to any of the homes in that area off of Leestown Road. Kentucky Utilities is reporting around 300 customers on the north side of town lost their power around 6 o'clock last night. They've been restoring that. Workers at a central Kentucky distillery also have a lot to clean up. Strong winds from a storm damaged two warehouses at Heaven Hill Brands in Nelson County. One of those warehouses lost its entire roof. Monique Blair talked to Heaven Hill workers about all the damage. Around 3.30 Tuesday afternoon, a storm rolled through Nelson County. It kind of came out of nowhere, and within a matter of minutes, uh, you know, I was inside the building here, and I, the guards ran in and said that we actually lost a roof off a warehouse. The storm completely ripped the roof off this warehouse and partially damaged another warehouse. I mean, when you first roll upon it and you see your warehouse roof, you know, basically folded up into multiple pieces laying, you know, on the ground next to it, it's... It's a little bit overwhelming. Each of these two warehouses here that were damaged hold 19,000 barrels of what is mainly bourbon. And you can see up close here just how significant the damage was to this warehouse. But right now it's too early to tell if any of those barrels of bourbon were damaged. These barrels are very sturdy. I mean, they, you know, they weigh 500, 550 pounds. They're pretty resilient. The distillery house is a total of 1.1 million barrels inside 51 different warehouses. You know, our warehouses are. Uh, pretty old. The two that uh, that were damaged tonight were both built in the 70s. So you know, occasionally when you have bad weather roll through like this, sometimes things happen. Master Distiller Denny Potter says although the buildings are old, the damage the storm left behind Tuesday will be repaired quickly. In Nelson County, Monique Blair, WKYT. And Heaven Hill says it's the largest family-owned and operated distiller spirits supplier in the country. Well, storm damage was also reported in Fleming County. The Fleming County emergency manager there says a shed was destroyed, trees knocked down along Highway 11 near Flemingsburg. He also says the roof of a barn was blown off on Convict Pike, which you can see in the photo there. No injuries were reported. The emergency management says the National Weather Service will be out surveying damage later today. The time is 437 on WKYT and with more heavy rain expected throughout the day, emergency managers around the bluegrass say they will be keeping a close eye on creeks and streams. In Franklin County, crews are preparing for possible flash flooding, and the emergency management director there says it has been an exhausting stretch of weather. The February snow event to the cold in February, which was, the, uh, which was a, a pretty good cold snap. I think our coldest date was like minus 22. Uh, to the March snow event, to the April flooding event, it has been one eventful month after another. A lot of it taking its toll. Some of you have been sending in your eyewitness pictures of storm damage. Anthony took this picture of a broken tree limb over in Danville. And you can share your pictures and your video with us. Email them to eyewitness at WKYT.com or use the hashtag KYWeather. This morning, Kentucky Governor Steve Beshear says he will not call a special session to handle issues stemming from the U.S. Supreme Court ruling that legalized same-sex marriage. House Speaker Greg Stembo had asked for a special session after some county clerks stopped issuing marriage licenses in response to the ruling. But he didn't want uh, or say what he wanted the legislature to do necessarily. Only the governor can call lawmakers back into session. Last night he said he would not do that. The uh, governor said that. He said the courts will deal with any clerks who are not issuing marriage licenses. The governor said, quote, it's time for everyone to take a deep breath. There is no need to spend $60,000 a day of taxpayer dollars calling a special session of the General Assembly. He said any minor changes to clarify the language of statutes could wait until the regular legislative session in January. Well, the time is 4.39, and WKYT this morning is just getting started. Sure is good to have you along with us here on this Wednesday. So what happens to your 401K when you switch careers or have taken time off? Moms Every Day will explain when we return. Still have that front right overhead, and it's not moving that much. That's why we still have that flash flood watch in effect, and I'll have that in your latest forecast coming up next.